y bienvenidos a un nuevo video. If you don't already know who I am, my name is Nate. I am a Spanish teacher and I learned Spanish nine years ago in high school. And today I speak a very Mexican Spanish. And oftentimes native speakers confuse me to be a native Mexican Spanish speaker. ¿Qué onda? ¿De dónde eres? Pues adivinen. De Sinaloa. De Sinaloa. Yo soy de Los Ángeles. How did I get to the point where my accent was so authentic that people were actually confusing me to be a Mexican? Well, that's exactly what you're going to learn in today's video. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't already. It really does help me out a lot. And feel free to leave a comment on this video letting me know what video you'd like to see next. Number one. The most important basic thing you need to get down in your Spanish is the pronunciation of the alphabet. Now, this might not sound like the most fun thing, but this is going to be key to building on your Spanish accent. The first most important aspect of learning the alphabet in Spanish are the vowel sounds. The vowel sounds are by far the most important thing to get down right if you want to have a more native accent in Spanish. The vowel sounds in Spanish are a, E, I, O, U. These are hugely, hugely important. Now, of course, there are other letters in Spanish and all of the other letters that aren't vowels are what we call consonants. There are other letters that are important like H. H is H. Be aware that the H in Spanish is silent. So it's not hola, <laughs> hola, okay, hola. We also have the doble L, which makes a Y sound. For example, pollo, pollo. Now in some countries like Argentina, you'll hear pollo, <laughs> okay? But in most places we'll say pollo, okay? Doble L makes that Y sound, very important. Ñ, Ñ, for example, español. The Ñ is kind of like an N and a Y put together, okay? Think of it like that, español. Okay, so it's not espanol, right? Mm. Espanol. Now, of course, we also have a regular N in Spanish, which behaves just like the N in English. But in Spanish, of course, we have the Ñ, which is the N and the Y. So, espanol. Next is doble R. This is really hard for a lot of us when we're learning Spanish, okay? Because we have to roll our R's, right? R, for example, perro, carro. Okay, we won't go over the exact pronunciation in this video. If you want, you can go to my website, SpanishFranate.com. I have a lesson in my Fluent Spanish Reader Academy where we go all over this in detail. But be aware, two R's put together are R. There are two words we have in Spanish. We have caro and we have carro. Two different things. Expensive, car. Okay, un carro. And finally, this is a really important one. The Z in Spanish, seta. I hear a lot of Spanish learners make the Z sound in Spanish incorrectly, okay? So it's not zapatos, mm. it's zapatos. The Z in Spanish makes an S sound in English. So it's zapatos, okay? It's not za, okay? Sa, zapatos. That will make your accent sound much better. When learning Spanish, please, Go slow. I used to really, really struggle with this when I was first learning Spanish. I would get super excited and I would say, great, I wanna speak super fast and it's gonna be great and my accent's gonna be awesome. But when I would try to speak at 10 million miles a minute, my accent would get really, really bad, okay? So that's another little expert piece of advice, right? So get the vowels down, but also remember, go slow, okay? When you speak slower, your accent is going to sound much more native. Hey, you, yeah, you. <laughs> You want to learn fluent Spanish? Well, you're in the right place. Go to my website, SpanishWithNate.com, and you can learn fluent Spanish with me. And if you call now in the next, call now, you will get a Chia Pet. I will send you a Chia Pet, and you can learn Spanish with me. Anyway, check it out, SpanishWithNate.com. Thanks so much, I hope you like the video. Okay, the next step is to listen to 
audio in Spanish. My favorite form, as you probably know, is music. I listen to music in Spanish every single day. And this is a big reason that my accent became much more native. Now, it's important to understand, whatever specific Spanish accent you're trying to learn, consume a lot of audio in that specific dialect. Okay, so for example, I like Mexican Spanish, and therefore the majority of the audio that I listen to is Spanish from Mexico. If I was trying to learn a Spanish more from Spain, or Costa Rica, or Puerto Rico. I would be listening to the Spanish from those countries, watching the shows from those countries, listening to podcasts from those countries, speaking to people from those countries. Any way that you can be consuming the sounds of that specific Spanish is very important. If you don't have a specific Spanish accent in mind, that's okay. I recommend after watching this video, you kind of investigate which you like the most, or as it was for me, simply due to the fact that here in Southern California, we have a lot of native Mexican Spanish speakers here, I just kind of accidentally learned a more Mexican Spanish just due to my environment. Let's say you prefer a Puerto Rican accent, but you absolutely love Colombian culture. I would say go for the Colombian accent because you wanna fall in love with the culture that comes with that more specific Spanish style. Now, if you want, I'll put a link in the video description, but if you go onto Spotify and you look up best songs in Spanish, Puras Rolas, you should find my playlist of songs in Spanish. It has over 1,500 followers and over 48 hours of music. It is an extremely expansive playlist. Now be aware, the majority of the songs and that are from Mexico. And I always tell my students, think about it. We're just consuming. Listen, listen, listen. Shows, movies, podcasts, music, audiobooks. You need to be consuming, consuming, consuming every single day. And finally, of course, you need to speak. It always shocks me how many of my students are learning Spanish, but never speak with people. That's the whole point of learning Spanish, you guys. So please find people to speak with. Now, a very common struggle that my students have is when there's no one in my city or my town, I have no one to speak with. Hello Talk and Tandem, two amazing free options for learning Spanish. Italki is awesome. Italki, while the lessons aren't free, they're extremely reasonably priced and they're a fantastic way to get speaking as soon as possible. You could also use a platform like Omegle or Omi TV, but just be aware, you might see some stuff on there that you're not gonna wanna see, but it is a very quick and easy way to speak with people instantly in Spanish. Of course, you can also go to my Fluent Spanish Speaker Academy. We have a private Discord community in there where I speak with students and we all speak with each other to improve our speech. Speaking. Seriously, I can't stress enough the importance of speaking. I look at my YouTube videos from three years ago, from when I first started. ¿Cuántos años tienes? 20. 20 años? Sí, sí, ya ves mi bárbaro. ¿Qué de nuevo contigo? Ya hace mucho tiempo que no nos vemos, como nunca. Hasta los detalles oscuros. Exactamente, sí. quiero todo, todo, todo. And I say, wow, my Spanish has gotten way better. And the number one reason is because I was speaking so much more. Now, of course, I've also spent the past three years listening a lot, reading, basically living my whole life in Spanish. <laughs> but the number one factor was absolutely speaking, speaking, speaking. Speak with intention because when you are purposely trying to have a very good accent, over time, the more and more you imitate native speakers and the more and more you're being very intentional with your accent, the better and better it's going to get. And then you just need to repeat these three steps. Get the pronunciation of the alphabet down. Hugely important, especially the vowel sounds. Listen, listen, listen. Listen every day to Spanish. And finally, speak. It's the most important of all these three, okay? Speak, speak, speak. Not only is speaking going to make your accent better, but it's going to make every aspect of your Spanish better. And not to say, speaking is probably going to be the biggest motivator for you because it is the most amazing feeling when you can have a conversation with someone completely in Spanish and say, wow, I'm doing it. I'm speaking Spanish. Get the alphabet down, listen, and speak. Well, muchas gracias por ver este video. Espero que te haya gustado. Si tienes una pregunta, un comentario, por favor, házmelo saber en los comentarios. Muchas gracias de nuevo por ver el video. Ahí estamos. Cuídate mucho. Adiós.